17. Hello, Miss Yoshioka. Hello, future me. Um, it is I, Carly Zills, and I'm going to film my science experiment because I cannot do it in the class. My science experiment is what uses more water, a bath or a shower? So today we are going to do the shower first. And how we are going to do it, down there, there is a little timer that we set for five minutes. So, we, I am going to start the shower, plug the drain, and then start the timer. But of course we won't record it filling up, filling up all the way. We'll just come back once the timer rings because we don't want to keep you waiting that long. So, whoop, let's go. We'll see you once it's done filling up. So, see you later. All right, the timer is almost done, and I'm going to walk over so I can turn it off right away. So. And let's stop the bath. I mean the shower. Great. So we filled it all the way up. So, we're going to wait for the last bit to come out and then we'll measure it. And um, after we measure it, we will be back. Alright, now we are going to measure how many, how much, how many inches of water that the shower is. So, let's take a look see. Let's see. About, let's say about three inches. Right, three inches of water from the shower. So we'll be right back and we'll get started on the tub. All right, everyone, we are back and now we are going to do the bath now. So let's get started. And five minutes. I wonder if this will be more than a shower or less. Let's find out when we come back. All right, everyone, when the timer is just about done, and we're going to turn off, stop the bath, and we'll check it out. All right, turn that off, and then turn this off. Whoa, it looks way fuller. Now, let's check it out. All right, everyone, hello, we are back, and we're going to measure this bathtub water. See how much. So we're gonna put it right back on the drain. You don't want to be little tears. Let's see. Make it straight so all of you can see. Alright, so let's take a look. Right. About it's really close to six inches, so I'd say five and a half inches. Whoa, that is a lot of water. So it turns out my hypothesis was right. A bath used, used more water than a shower. And I think the reason why is that the shower, it comes out through little holes. And this, it just comes like straight out, like quartz and quartz just pour right in. So I think that's the reason why. Like it's the way it comes out because it just like plops right in there like a hose. But it's, it's sort of like a sprinkler. like. Clothes like just comes like the water comes out of the holes on the top, so that's why we probably got less water. And so that was my experiment. Quite fun, don't you think? And now I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I've been wanting to do all video. So don't judge people. It's just for fun. Wee! And oh my gosh, it feels so weird. <laughs> And looks like we're all done here. All, all the only thing left to do is goodbye. This is a weird.